honestly not, don't know why not more people on this platform are talking about this because it is absolutely amazing. Hi, my name is Joel. I'm a 22 year old student educational scientist from Netherlands and welcome to A Life of Learning. With this channel, I hope to help out my fellow students by sharing both my educational knowledge and my personal experience. So make sure to subscribe if that is something you are interested in. And to all my new subscribers, because the channel blew up quite a bit since I filmed my last video, welcome. I'm super happy you're here. I know that a lot of you subscribed for my Galaxy Tab SS Lite content and my Samsung Notes content. So stay tuned if that is the case, because that is definitely coming as well. But today I wanted to talk about this amazing productivity time blocking system that I discovered recently which makes use of an integration between Google Calendar and Todoist and I honestly God don't know why not more people on this platform are talking about this because it is absolutely amazing I have been trying to use time blocking for a few years now because it actually is a great way to be more productive firstly because it makes it a lot easier to start on your tasks when you have a set time to get started and secondly it helps you combat Parkinson's law which basically says that your tasks will fill the time that you have available for the completion. So by setting yourself a deadline for finishing a task, you basically make sure that you don't keep working on it indefinitely until you reach the point of perfection that you will never reach. But the thing with time blocking is that I've always struggled to find a good time blocking system. I have tried physical paper in a bullet journal. I tried time blocking in a digital note taking app. I've tried using Notion to manage my tasks and events. I tried Google Calendar in the regular way, but I've just never been able to find a system for time blocking that really felt effortless until now. So yeah, if you want to learn more about the Google Calendar and Todoist integration and how I use it to time block, then make sure to keep watching. Fancy two camera setup. Okay, so what I just did was I used some secondary accounts to sign up to Google Calendar and to Todoist so that I can start completely from scratch. So then the first thing I'm going to do is to set up the Google Calendar and Todoist integration in Todoist. So the way you do this is you go to Todoist and then go to your settings in Todoist. Then you go to integrations. And then you can choose the option connect calendar. So press connect calendar. And then you can choose the account that you want to connect to. This time I will use my secondary account. And then you set the right permissions. Then you click agree. And then the connection between your Google Calendar and your to-do list is established. So then the next thing we're going to do is to set up all the calendars that we need in Google Calendar. So the amazing thing about the system is that you can color code different areas of your life. So for example, you can decide to color code your different courses. You can decide to color code your university work differently from your secondary job or from your personal activities, whatever way you want to do it. And if you use the free version of Todoist, then you can choose five different life areas that you want to give a different color in your Google Calendar. And that is because in the free version, you can only have five different projects in Todoist and the different projects are what allow you to give different colors to different areas of your life. So after you have decided what area of your life you want to give different colors in your Google Calendar, then you can start setting up your different calendars. So the way this works is that you set up two different calendars for each area of your life, an events calendar and a task calendar. So that is what I will be doing now. And Google Calendar automatically gives you a main calendar, so that is the first one that you can start with. And a great life hack to make sure that your calendars appear in the correct order in your Google Calendar. You can use numbers to hack the alphabetic ordering system. Google Calendar is having some issues with creating the calendars, which is annoying, but after you've set everything up, 
you will not have to change anything about these calendars anymore. So even if this happens, bear with it because it will be worth it in the end. So now we have set up all the calendars and now I will give each of these calendars its own color. And what I like to do is to use a darker, brighter color for the events and then a matching slightly lighter muted color for the task, just so that events and tasks are clearly distinguished in the calendar. But of course, if you want to do it in a different way, then you are very welcome to. So to change the colors of your calendars, you click the three dots next to it and then all the way down you go to the plus to make a custom color and then you can just use whatever color that you like just set up uh, the four different life areas, two calendars for each area um, and I've given the events a darker color and the tasks a matching lighter color as I said I would do. So yeah, now that all of that is done, we can move on to Todoist to activate the two-way sync integration. So first what you're going to do is you're going to set up a project for every life area that you have just entered into your Google Calendar. So we have personal, which we had like a aqua tealy color. Then we had household, which was a pink color. Then we have university which had a nice blue color. And then we had work, which had a yellow color. And yeah, I like to match the colors just uh, for the sake of organization, but these colors actually have no bearing on the colors in Google Calendar. So if you want to use different colors in Todoist and Google Calendar for any reason, then you can do that as well. But now that you've set up these projects in Todoist, we can start actually activating the two-way sync integration. So then to actually set up the two-way sync integration, you should go to settings again in Todoist and then you go to integrations and then the window that you need will automatically pop up. And then for Google Calendar, you select the tasks calendar for the area that you want to sync first. And you say sync a specific project and then you select the correct Todoist project. Then the Todoist label, I want to leave empty because basically all that it does is that when you enter something through Google Calendar, it will be given a separate label, but I don't really see the point of that. So I just leave it blank. Then Google event duration for new Todoist tasks, I like to put it at 30 because it's big enough to be clearly visible, but small enough that it doesn't immediately take over your whole calendar. Then for Todoist tasks without due time, very important to sync as all day events, otherwise these will not pop up in your calendar, which you probably don't want. 
And then for completed to-do list tasks, you can decide yourself if you would like them to stay on the Google Calendar or to be removed. I like for them to be removed, but whatever floats your boat. So now your first calendar to do is integration has been set up and now you need to repeat this for all your other life areas. So now all your calendars are synced and then the last thing that I like to do is also sync the to-do list inbox because otherwise if you put a task in your inbox but you forget to give it a project label it will not appear on your calendar at all which can be a bit tricky if it's something important so I like to have a separate one for that as well and this one can be created automatically so on our google calendar you can select to-do list new so it will create a new calendar in google calendar called to-do list uh, and then the specific project that you sync to that is in the box. And then everything else you fill in just like you did for the other ones. Always very exciting. And then you are all set up. So then the workflow that you can use with this system is as follows. So the first thing you want to do is to put in your events and you would do this just like you would for a regular Google Calendar. Just make sure that for the color coding to work, you of course need to put it in the right calendar and also make sure to put all your events in the event calendars and not in the test calendars. So let's just add some fake events. Oh yeah, so something that I also really like to do is to add emojis to even more clearly distinguish events from tasks. And I also use them to signify what type of event it is, just because it gives a nice quick overview and it also looks quite cute. I just created some fake events. Uh, this is nonsensical just for the <laughs> purpose of demonstration. It's, it's a very long dinner that we're having here at three o'clock, um, but never mind. So that was just the regular Google Calendar stuff, but the real magic is in Todoist and in the task calendars. So now to keep track of all your to-dos, all that you need to do is to just add your tasks in Todoist. And you can use a hashtag to clearly put a project label on each task. And then you can just type words like today, tomorrow, a random date and a time to add it to that specific time. And as an example, I will also enter something and forget to label it, so it just ends up in the inbox. So usually what I would do is to just make an estimate of when I think I will work on the task. It can be very rough because as I will show you now, you can easily change it afterwards. So yeah, now that you have added all those tasks in Todoist, you can see that they also appear in Google Calendar. And it's amazing because now you can just drag them around, you know, change the duration to whatever you need, change the dates, everything you can think of, you can do. Mm -hmm. 
And the amazing thing is that whenever you change something in Google Calendar, the change will automatically appear in Todoist. And then if you make a change in Todoist, it will automatically be updated in Google Calendar. And the reason I love this so much is because Todoist allows you to very easily, quickly jot down some tasks without really thinking about it, which is something that I find is not really possible with Google Calendar. And if you want, you can also jot down tasks in Todoist that don't have a set moment that you want to work on them yet then they will just still be in Todoist and you can plan them in whenever you are ready. And then what you can also do if you don't really know exactly what time you want to schedule something, you can also just use a date without a time in Todoist and then in Google Calendar, the task will just pop up as a full day event. And then if you are ready to schedule it, you can just click the event, select edit, and then you uncheck all day, save, and then it will appear somewhere in your calendar and then you can drag it wherever you want. And then the last thing I want to share with you, what I really like about this system is that you can also batch some tasks. So let's say you have a number of people that you need to call. So you say call person one tomorrow, call person two tomorrow, call person three tomorrow. And then you want to batch that into one time block. Then you can just add a task for that time block. So call people tomorrow. And then you can just drag the subtasks under the main task. And then you have batched your tasks. And the only thing that I would advise you to do is to remove the date from the subtasks because otherwise all the subtasks will also still appear in your Google Calendar, which can become a bit messy. And then if you go to Google Calendar, you have a nice batch, which is cold people. Again, you can uncheck full day, so it will appear in your timeline. You can drag and drop it anywhere. So yeah, then the end result is a great time-blocked overview of all your events and tasks in Google Calendar and an automatically generated to-do list in Todoist. So then whenever you are getting to work, you can just go to Google Calendar and see what you have to do when. And then if you are working on your tasks, you go to to-do list and then in today, which now is empty because we didn't schedule anything to our today, but it will just give you all the tasks that you will have to work on today. And yes, I just find this an extremely effortless way to time lock. Whenever a task comes up, I do not immediately have to think of a time or day to schedule it. I can just put it in my inbox in Todoist and then just schedule it later whenever I'm ready. And whenever I edit something either in Google Calendar or in Todoist, it will automatically update. So all overviews are always synced and show the same information. And yes, I, I just really, really, really like this system. And I'm very happy that I got to show it to you today. So yeah, that was everything I had to share for today. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and that I have been able to explain the system clearly. For me personally, this system has really been life changing. So I really hope that you will try it out yourself. And if you do, make sure to let me know in the comments what your thoughts on it are. If you thought this video was helpful, then make sure to like it so that others might find it as well. And if you have any other amazing time blocking systems that you would like to share, then also make sure to do so. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one and I wish you lots of love and a life of